So we're here to solve this tricky Nurikabe 0123 by Marajan Tanta. You'll see the theme coming across this bottom row, 0123 in extending order. There's also on these diagonals 123 and then 123 also extending up. So the island values are all tied to 0, uh, 1, and 2, and 3 uh, as we move through the grid. The tension is going to probably come from the large 23 and the large 10. And so we'll start those in different colors because we'll probably have some cases where we'll want to be using that color to help us out and seeing what uh, cells are going to come from where. Um, a lot of times in puzzles like this, we're going to have some cells that can't be reached by any island. Actually, this little three can only reach to this cell, but not to these cells. And so we've got an isolated start to the grid where that lower left corner has to get packed in by pulling in the only island that can get to it. That actually marks this cell in as something else, but it's not part of the two above it. So it's going to come over to the right. A cell like this now can't join to anything. We can think about a two by two square like this square, which has to have some island somewhere as part of it. And notice that that's not coming from the two or three or even from this 10 all the way over here. It's gonna be coming from the 23 above. And this cell for sure is the first cell that can be reached by the 23, however it goes, before it can reach anything else in yellow. And actually this cell is also gonna to need to be on a path to get to that 23. And so there's a way you can think about this, uh, which may help you for connectivity sake is to sort of see that this island shape is going to take some path, but that path is going to form a blockage through this third row, uh, through cells we haven't marked yet, either this one or this one. Um, that will mean that this ocean on the left of it uh, has to come through uh, this set, come through this column. This is actually now a cell that must be an ocean, which means coming back that this last yellow cell is actually part of the 23, this part of the 23. The two has to come actually now out to the right. and We've got the star in the grid. Um, the 23 has to still extend across the top, actually. If we come back here and, and mark in sort of its path, it's got to avoid the three clue just below it. But in avoiding that clue, it can't come all the way to the top edge because this ocean has to come out. Because again, the ocean can't come down through this. This island is blocking off that connection. And we'll actually see there are even further cells we can mark. This is a little bit tricky, but a cell like this can't be part of an island. The only island it could be a part of is a 23, but if the 23 joins to there, it's pinned this upper left ocean for everything else. And so these cases where an island can't touch an edge are pretty key. And, and right now this 23 can't touch an edge, but has to still get across the grid and dodge a channel like this. This growing group in yellow is going to be a key thing to continue and extend the solve. So we'll start to mark that in and what we'll see is that there are really two groups it can join with. It can join with the 23 in red, and it can join with the 10 in blue. And let's just mentally sketch sort of how those would look. And there are sort of different ways it can go, but in red, it sort of sketches up and around like so. And in blue, it would come over like this for the 10. But notice in both scenarios, there is a place where uh, this middle portion of the grid or this bottom portion of the grid have to get connected by coming through some some key central cells. Consider a cell like this. Let's say this cell were part of an island. In the blue scenario where this line is drawn, this ocean is now completely stranded. Like this island would have to be part of the blue group as well, but you can't get out from it. In the red scenario, this now is part of a red island, and so all the oceans here in the center and the lower left are connected, but they can't join to this ocean or to the top. Because if you had, essentially, let's go back and just sort of draw this, if this were actually what's in red, red is now pinned the lower left from the right side of the grid. And so a cell like the one we were just talking about has to be an ocean cell. A cell like this has to be an ocean cell, same kind of thinking. If, it, if blue is true, you can't get back and flow into the grid without the cell. If red is true all the way through, then the, these central oceans have to get out. And so marking some of these in help you see that this ocean uh, and island pair keep extending like this. Um, this cell, similar logic to why it can't be part of an island, because now you're isolating this ocean from the other ocean, so we can get this into the grid. We'll actually see all the way out to this cell that even this is still a forced ocean, which is going to help us because, again, this, this has to stay connected with the left and top of the grid. So we've got an either-or choice. Um, this may be a place where some people, um, out of frustration or just trying to you know race to a solution, will bifurcate. And you can certainly try to use uh, the red versus the blue options and see which will quickly fail. 
Um, one of the things to note uh, now that we've marked a ton of this bottom part is that the shape of the blue is, is fairly forced. Um, you take these six cells, you'll then have a seventh, eighth, ninth to get down to this corner. There's maybe a uniqueness constraint you could argue, but you'll never actually put another island into this uh, seventh row, um, at least not from the 23. And that's, that's some kind of constraint to think about. But I think there's a different uh, and elegant logical path to do, and that's recognizing already that the counts are somewhat limited. We're going to have to be pretty efficient in how we're filling the cell. And so let's start to think about these channels over here. And there's a pretty key three by four box, which I would say is this one, which we can't take all of. Those can all be island cells. Actually, the, the largest number of island cells in this box we can use is eight. And the way that that looks is to recognize that this top ocean still has to come down, whether it's through red here or through blue here, it has to come down through this channel or through this channel. Um, there's no way that the ocean comes through this channel because you'll see that's now pinned too much uh, in for the 23. So there's always some red cells in uh, that uh, three by four box. And uh, the leftmost column is what's actually most forced to be red cells um, for this to work. And then the ocean can come through here and potentially the 10 comes all the way up or the ocean comes through here and the red is grabbing as many cells as it can. We have a tight constraint on the grid in terms of size and we're gonna see as we even force through this logic that the, the, the actual size of the grid is gonna only allow one exact placement. So how I would notate this a bit is to say that the left or right of this black edge is where the ocean goes. And these cells must always be part of the 23. And I'm marking those in to get a max count. The three here uh, can't uh, use this cell. Uh, it will have to take this and this. This now starts to force around it, this shape through the middle. Again, remember we're, we're defining a set so we take as many cells as we can up here. Um, the thing to think, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. If you did the bifurcation path and said that these yellow cells connect with the 10, you would actually can get a max of 21 cells, which are these 21 cells that are part of this top island, but you can't get any more than that, and that's why that fails. Um, but once we're actually at this point and see that this is an island cell, um, it's pretty much the case now that if blue is the real line, we have a connectivity issue, but if red is the real line, there's still space for an island and ocean pair to get ocean cells sort of through this channel. So once we actually put this in, we know that red uh, must be what's happening, not uh, what's in blue. And breaking this open, we actually get more that blue has to come through this channel. And as we said, there is an option for the ocean in this three by four box to come through the center. So it does. And in coming through the center, we'll have to take these cells. Uh, this group in blue is going to have to keep coming up. Right now, we could take uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, ocean here, ocean here. This will always have to be uh, from blue. We have, it looks like, five, ten, fifteen. We've got twenty-two in red right now. So this is twenty-three. That's for connectivity. This is 10. We've got one more cell we can take. And so this is the single solution to the puzzle, which can be reached by you know, splitting these cells into what would happen if they joined to the 10 or 23. And you'll get something that's like 10 versus 21. You can't get enough cells for the 23. If the 23 comes through in red, you can get this exact uh, solution form as drawn. But for me, some of the key deduction was thinking about this effective box which will always have an ocean coming straight through it. If we leave then as many cells as are remaining, which are eight of those 12 for, for islands, uh, you can define at the start that the leftmost part are gonna have to be in red and doing that, we get the force center and the rest coming through the grid. So um, Murat may add in the comments his own thoughts about how he uh, intended people to get through the solve, but this was my route through the solve and hopefully the use of uh, some of these diagonal patterns, at least how I use these to, to track ocean connectivity and then how we, we really separate out these two groups to really think through the connections through this channel and through this channel. Um, this was the way to get the limited space of the open grid small enough that the counting would, would give you the absolute single solution. So we'll see you again soon.